Hello everyone, this is Todd. Uh, I want to get right to it. We've got another release that uh, just went out this morning uh, for the software. Uh, some of the calculators that were in my last video should all be live now. Uh, the simple savings, the investment property. There's a nice video on this as well as a very, very compelling spreadsheet that allows you to compare investment properties, commercial properties and things to say a mutual fund or another investment. Uh, we have access now to the HOA through CMG and a direct link over to Reverse Vision. The Reverse Vision calculator isn't quite ready yet. Should be uh, coming up in a, in a, in a, in a uh, release here in the next couple of uh, weeks. I'm gonna jump right to one of the major, we got a lot of little small minor things, but I wanna show you the, the, the major change that we've made and the architecture for the software based on some of your feedback. So I'm gonna to go to our old faithful Joe and Sally uh, Smith here. Uh, we'll just use them as a traditional refinance I'm going to go ahead and skip right over to the suitability tab and then on over to the analyze tab. Remember, you don't have to go in order. You can skip to any tab at any time. I can go from uh, eligibility on the second tab here right to creating a report. Uh, but I'm going to jump to the analyze tab because here's where you're going to see a, a big change and something that I think will again make this probably uh, the only uh, way that I know to compare a very complicated situation in a way that provides very, very simple uh, advice for the consumer in a way that helps them to make a quick decision. We like to say we're focusing on the math so that you can focus on uh, the magic. And the magic being how do I tell a story? How do I help this client understand which scenario is best for them? So remember we're WYSIWYG, meaning what you see is what you get. So as I expand my loan options here, and go to multiple loan options, I can now see all of these side by side. But one of the challenges we had in combining all of the asset and liability uh, and, and, and cash flow management into one tool like this is when you're up here playing with a scratch board, we, we like as much as possible to compare apples to apples. But maybe there's a situation where you want to compare a 30 to a 15 and you want to show in the 30 year fixed uh, them paying off certain debts and not paying off others. So let me shrink up these debts for a second here to where I'm only showing one liability. So we're comparing this current liability here to a new liability of 293 on a 30 year fixed. What you'll now see up in the top right hand corner is alternative one pay. So this is my alternative liabilities one and each individual debt is available here. So let's say that I choose not to pay off the auto by simply saying no, that I don't want to pay off the auto, it keeps that auto debt in place. It just appeared right here. All of the calculations and numbers for the entire plan have changed with that one click, as well as the cash needed. So if I go down to cash, there's an extra $40,000 cash at closing now because I am not going to pay off uh, this $29,874 car loan. Okay, but let's say that I wanted to compare this uh, I'll start off with an easy one, just to another 30-year fix, uh, same loan amount, same everything, but I want to actually compare on this refinance. Now look what happened. When I opened up the new program for second li liability, you'll notice I now have the same options, and I can say that I don't want to pay off the auto, and I don't want to pay off the credit card. So you'll see what I now have the ability to do is completely customize the presentation and now it says I have 322 in borrowing, now I have 331 in borrowing. And when I scroll down, I have 40,000 in cash or 49,450 in cash. So maybe I would like to simply compare a, a lower loan amount on this first. Maybe I want to take this down to about 265. I simply change that loan amount to 265 and again below immediately I see now there's 21,000 cash available and all the cash flow all of the wealth numbers are still bringing you down to a single solution. So even if I change multiple variables, variables on product or on debts that I'm going to pay off, I still get to one number that compares over my time frame the wealth impact. So still, this first scenario here is a better solution than this scenario here. Both are better than what I'm doing today because I can see an increase in wealth over this time period but you can take some very complicated situations. Let's say that you'd like to compare this to a 15 year fixed. Now you'll notice I can say, I wanna show a 15 year fixed where I 
pay off the credit cards and I pay off the auto. So again, we're, we're at one level, you can say we're no longer comparing apples to apples, but yet we are because by just simply adding this scenario, I can see the impact in the cash. I've got a lot of cash, little cash, less cash. I can see the cash flow difference, 97, 106, 85, and I can go all the way down to the bottom and see the wealth impact of these decisions over this time period. Still, this is the best solution for me. If I change certain variables, will that change? Wow, if I assume that the cash on cash return is 0%, then the 15 year, this third scenario is a much better alternative for me, $107,000 versus a loss of 2300 just because we're assuming that the cash and cash flow is now earning 0% over the target time frame for this client, which is 30 years. Okay, let's say that I, I get these scenarios set up. I've got their current scenario and I've got three comparable scenarios, different, different versions of ways you could support the client. Different cash at closing, different cash flow at closing. But let's just say the target time frame is really going to be 15 years. I go to the bottom and I can still see in this scenario, this is going to save $56,000 over 15 years versus 8400 versus 2641. Imagine being able to take all of this information, all of these different variables, and boil that down into a single number that would help that client decide what to do. If they feel like they're working with a financial advisor and 5% is a good target return for their, their cash and cash flow over that 15 year period, now we can see 40 versus 42 versus 56. Again, single clicks, you have that opportunity to create a simple way to tell a story for that client. And now with this new feature here, you have the ability to set up multiple liabilities and have different payoff structures for a purchase, a refinance, a rent versus own. So you're doing a rent versus own, you could have a 30 year fix in all three categories one with a five and a quarter, one with a five, and one with a four and a half. So you could just simply do a point differential. One you pay off, you put a large down payment, one you put a small down payment and pay off credit cards. You'll be able to compare those now side by side. There are a couple other little small tweaks and features in here, but this is the main one I wanted to share with you. Take a look at it, play with it, enjoy, and uh, look forward to our next release where we're gonna incorporate a couple of other new features that you've asked for into uh, the process. Thanks very much and have a great day.